he survived and that was so cool. Oh my gosh, it was cooler than I thought it would be. It was just so peaceful in there. It wasn't scary, it was like chill. Just last month, I went on a huge adventure to the Philippines. At first, it was just to attend a travel bloggers convention, but I quickly fell in love with the country and knew I had to see more. So I changed my flight and stayed for almost a month to check out more of the islands, oceans, people, places, activities, and animals that make this country so amazing. I'm Alicia, creator of AMA TV, and I invite you to join me for this nine-part travel video adventure series on the Philippines. I'll be releasing a new video each Friday, so subscribe on YouTube now so you don't miss any of them. Yay, we're finally on the island! Hi friends, today our Philippines adventure continues. I'm still on the island of Palawan. I flew on Cebu Pacific Air into Puerto Princesa, and the main reason that people come to Puerto Princesa is to see this amazing place I'm taking you today. It is an underground river. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it is said to be the seventh natural wonder of the world. And Palawan, the island that I'm on, is voted to be the best island in the world. It should be amazing. I'm on a tour right now to go check out the underground river. They take us in a canoe. There's going to be bats, there's going to be rock formations, and I think we're going to do a little mangrove tour um, immediately prior to it. So it's a big day full of nature here in the Philippines, and I'm so excited to bring you along with me. And I couldn't think of any better way to start this day than by having some natural coconut water. So the way this works is you go with your tour guide and they register you for the day. It's first come first serve for the underground river, but then you have a few hours to kill. So, a mangrove tour. And it is optional for 350 pesos. Hi! This is your first time to come? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's similar to the bar and group. Differences between male and female mangrove. Sound of silence. You have a song like that. Yeah. Having the darkness, my friend. I've come to talk to you again Because a vision softly creeping Hi! Left and sees while the rain is coming sleeping. What are you calling? The bird The bull? Bird Bird Ah <laughs> Roper the milkfish, that is our national fish in the Philippines. Milkfish or bangor. This place feels a lot like Florida. Then we have the trees uh, were not planted by human beings and they are growing naturally since the beginning of the universe. Beneath the halo of a street lamp, I turn my collar to the cold and damp. All right, we're at the uh, point of departure, the dispatching area. And we definitely got um, schooled on the monkeys that we will see and what to do. And we can't have any kind of bag that looks like a food bag because they know. And they'll actually grab your bag and steal your stuff because they think it's food. So this says don't even bring a bag at all. It is really nice being with the tour guide because everything is, you know, set up for you. Because it can be really complicated um, organizing these things. So we paid thirty dollars for the tour we're with a group of girls from England. And these are, I guess, these are the canoes we're gonna jump on. This water is this beautiful green, but not today because it started raining in the afternoon. Sucks. There's Rahul chatting up the ladies. Just taking our little boat to this little island. You guys excited? Yay! Yes! Should be pretty good. I'm glad it got a little bit more sunny. Yeah. Right? At least to make the colors rich in the water. Let's get off of this boat. These boats seem to be the standard boats here in the Philippines. I don't know what you call them. They have motors, but they're very flotation based. I'm not a boat expert. Hi! Is this your tree? <laughs> here we go. So 
So it's saying here that it's very important not to feed the monkeys because when normally they would just, you know, eat fruit from the forest, they've actually learned to rely on tourist food for sustenance and they need to be out there eating bananas and finding them on their own. But I do look forward to seeing them hopefully. Yes. <laughs> wow. Guys, I've actually never seen a monkey in the wild before. You're my first monkey. Where are you going? What you eating? Hopefully it's banana. Oh, it's like a piece of cellophane. You're eating cellophane. We need to talk to them about diet and nutrition. Look at this big boy. You're the big boy. Are you the king of the jungle? <laughs> All right, so we've got hard hats. I don't think it's dangerous. I think it's just precaution. And they've given us this device. We keep calling it the device. And it, uh, they offer it to us in, I think, seven different languages. I chose English. It's an audio guide telling us about the caves. So I'll just, you know, tell you what I hear. And ladies and gentlemen, the underground river. There's bats. They're giving us all these warnings. Please keep your mouth closed while looking up. Bat droppings are dangerous and gross. Formation is called the dinosaur. I'm not sure why. Maybe that's the dinosaur. Oh, I see it. Oh my gosh. It's a giant stalagmite. It's the biggest stalagmite I've ever seen. Oh, it's a mushroom. It's a leaf What? This is why we have our hard hats on. This one is extra fancy. <laughs> I've got the Luma Cube here to help light the way. Now, for those of you following the gear side of things, you should know that this video was filmed entirely with my small vlogging camera and some help from the video cube light that you just saw. I'll link to them both in the description below and, of course, on my vlog at amy.tv. There was some help from the guide's flashlights, but you can still see how much this camera is picking up, even in super low light. I mean, we're literally in a bat cave, and yes, it's grainy, and yes, the lens is still filled with dust from Burning Man, but still, it does okay. The exit's gonna look cool. You said you could touch it and make a wish. Ooh, it's real smooth. <laughs> Thank you. We survived. You guys like it? Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. Right. Not scary, right? <laughs> That's okay. What happened? Have fun. Was it scary? Mm, no. No. Did you keep your mouth closed? Yeah, yeah, I was worried about that too. <laughs> I was worried about that too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I'm getting the British accent either from you guys or from this audio guide. <laughs> By the way, that's why I was um, British accenting. Because I was relaying exactly what the English audio guide was telling me. And it was really? Oh, it's British. What did you think of the cave? I thought it was really nice. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's something... Uh, I've never seen, obviously I've never seen it before, but it's <laughs> unlike anything I've seen before. Um, really glad we, uh, you know, made it down I here. And even though I've, uh, I've flown down here just for one night, oh just to see this, I think it's been completely worth it. So hopefully all you guys will come down here as well. Definitely. Puerto Princesa, that's where you want to fly into, on Palawan. It's 
really is a fun little port. Uh, they've got uh, fresh juice stands and fried bananas and papayas and mangoes and lots of fruit. I would have just had fruit for lunch. Could you say banana? Banana, yeah. I love it. Tell me what flavor you got and how it tastes. It's strawberry and banana and it's really delicious. It's really, really nice. <laughs> and you? Uh, this is mango and banana and it's really nice. It's a little bit of red taste. Yeah, nice. Awesome. And this you? Mine like <laughs> avocado. It's really delicious. <laughs> it is really delicious. I tasted hers too. There's no banana in there. Mm. Oh, no, I have banana. We're waiting for Miss Gigi, our tour guide, to come back and pick us up. Honestly, then I get two different ones. She's like our mom for the day. <laughs> And that is episode four of the Philippines Travel video series here on AMA TV. If you missed part one, two, or three, be sure to catch up because I've got at least five more and lots more talk about the video production gear I use to make these travel videos. Hit that red subscribe button to get updates each week. And if you really want to get updates, also hit this bell right here. Yes, I have to ask you to do that because apparently YouTube changed some things and it's all very dramatic and PewDiePie hilariously explains it all right here so I don't have to. And I'll see you guys next week for El Nido. I'm sure you've heard of it. Bye!